Yes, and like we said, it's that time of year where folks have no problem waiting hours for one iconic Fiesta snack. But did you know there's at least one place here in town that has it all year long? Yes, indeed. Ben De Los Santos, owner of Benji's Munch, is here to show us how they satisfy your craving for chicken on a stick. 365 days a year, and oh goodness gracious, plus a lot of other goodies. Good hey, afternoon, sir. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Yeah, Good. glad to be here. Good to be here. So what is the secret to a great chicken on a stick? Well, you got to have really good chicken, first of all. So we do breast meat, so it's a really nice. So we hand cut our breast and get a really premium breast, and then we do cracker crumb breading with just a dip in buttermilk. Okay. Very simple. It's not hard. So it's just... And, it's, and it's, it's, it's easy. And that way, when it is simple like that, the good flavor of the chicken Absolutely. comes through really nicely. It comes nicely, through right? all the way. We do serve it with a little bit of cilantro ranch. you got to get in there and press it, Fiona, hard. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared. Yeah, and you said that's the trick. Is yeah, it's you really want to get it in there, flip it a couple of times. And mm -hmm. it also helps tenderize it when you're pressing with the back of your palm. So um, we do this. We put it on some of our sandwiches, but we mostly sell it on a chicken on a stick. And we sell a ton of those. Boy, you're going to town with that. Well, thing. She's doing a great that. job. She's that's doing a great job. That's the way do. you did it. So, so that way it ding, all ding, sticks on there just like there we go if you can see nicely that. coated and very goes good into the fryer yeah. and what kind of oil do you use uh, we use a soybean some... oil um, for our fryers and okay. it, it comes out really nice so doesn't really add too much of the oil flavor mm -hmm. to it or no anything? no uh, the breading that we use the cracker crumbs do not hang on like a flour batter flour type uh, breading mm -hmm. uh, so this is real light it's not gonna be super heavy and you just get a nice juicy chicken inside once you get going we'll mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see okay it's a really nice one and that's one breast just pounded out right uh, that's that's a, a large breast slice uh, okay. on a cross cut so it actually will make it nice and tender when you do it when okay. you eat it and when you do the sandwiches, it's basically that. That you just cut, cut it in half, and mm -hmm. we double stack them. Okay. So that's uh, they're huge sandwiches too. So. All right. And you have some Fiesta events you're looking forward to, right? Yeah, yeah. We're doing a Taste of the North Side coming up in a couple of weeks, and then uh, we've got a really good one that we uh, love going to. We've done it every year. Is Taste of the Republic, and that's a really really nice event to where you get to. Uh, showcase some chef skills and we're doing some unique stuff and we're doing a uh, um, for that event we're doing a uh, queso um, chicharron with Ooh. barbacoa we do ah. a coco barbacoa which you okay. have right so there. I did bring some barbacoa because we're talking about fiesta so I went ahead and brought some barbacoa to do us to our tacos we do tacos at the restaurant and we throw down bacon fat on the tortilla uh, to get it nice and toasty. So what uh, better than bacon yeah, fat? Yeah, yeah. Right? So we toast it on one side, gets a nice crunch, so it adds a little texture. And our barbacoa is a little bit different. It add, we had the uh, um, cinnamon and chocolate. It's called a cocoa barbacoa. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually won the Big Red and Barbacoa Festival in 2016 in second place in 2018. So some really. Uh, unique flavors that you're going to find there. So this is good stuff. Uh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Right, so that's going. Just going to get nice and toasted and then uh, we're going to pull out our barbacoa and it kind of leans towards a mole flavor. So it's not just like a traditional barbacoa, but it has all the... Hold on, hold on. Oh, we're going okay. to let it get nice and toasty. And uh, we'll flip it a little bit, but we want it to get nice and crunchy a little bit. And your prizes, your uh, winnings for barbacoa, I mean, that's just a long line of first places that you've got because your grilled cheese is at the top of the heap. Stellar. Absolutely. Uh, they've had the grilled cheese festival two years in a row here in San Antonio. Uh, they had to you know, take a little time off for COVID and stuff, but uh, we want it every year. So we have them. And they actually announced that we're doing it again this year. So it's back up, I think, in November, November 14th or something like that. So we've had your grilled cheese. Describe uh, what's in it. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be Angus Chuck. Oh, the, oh, the grilled cheese? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, that's going to be um, the spinach and artichoke grilled cheese. And we add bacon to it. Uh, oh. So it's uh, we make our own spinach and artichoke dip, mozzarella provolone, fresh spinach, and then we add crispy bacon. It and griddle it up. Literally to yeah, die for. We've had it before here and you is guys this, is this done? Is that ready? Yeah, I think you're good. That's done. Yeah, okay. you're good. All right. So I'll do it out. Yeah, I think you're good. These are Yeah, these, these are, are both ready to go. Okay. So we're gonna set them on here. Yep. And then we're gonna serve ourselves some barbacoa and we're not scared. We're gonna just and we only we don't flip them. That side's gonna get nice and cooked up. Uh -huh. Um so it and holds the juices, the other side's gonna have a nice texture to it. Okay. Tell so, me how much. Load it up right load in the middle. Up. The other great staple food there that you, go. That's good right there. you are going into competition for is mac and cheese competition? Yeah, we have a mac and cheese festival that's coming up at the end of April. And uh, we've actually entered that one. That's perfect, okay. Fiona. What's in your mac and cheese that's it's, so special? It's a five cheese mac and cheese that we make Ooh. scratch at the restaurant. And this one that we're doing competition, one whole thing of avocado. So grab one of those and throw it right in the middle. 
Just lay it across right there, just like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, then for your chicken on a stick, you've got a. And then you put some cilantro and onions on it. Got it. And the ch cilantro ranch for the chicken on a stick. Okay. Absolutely. So we'll just try a little bite. Beautiful. Right and here, just cilantro baby. and onions on it, just like that. Okay. Beautiful. Pop that. And then in just there. the cilantro. Should be some cilantro yep, right yep, there. There you go. It. Where's your place located? Uh, Bitters and Blanco. So we're at uh, 1218 West Bitters. Uh, um, it's just uh, right there near uh, Artisan's Alley, going down uh, Bitters. Mm. Okay. Mm. That, All right, is this good that, to go? That chicken on a stick a, is good. A nice light coating. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't weigh you down, doesn't hold on grease in or anything like that. Right. Oh, goodness gracious, that's delicious. Uh -huh. okay. Be careful, it's going to drip on you. All right, Be so don't forget, you can get chicken on a stick every day all year at Benji's Munch. Plus, you can catch him at the fifth annual Taste of the Republic Fiesta event. It's next Thursday, March 31st, from 5 to 9 p.m. at The Good Kind, located at 1127 South St. Mary Street. And, of course, more information on website, uh, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Benji, awesome. delicious as always. Thank, Thank you, Thank you very much for having us. Certainly. Appreciate y'all.